GTSS, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the Universal Skype app for Windows 10. Um, it is looking pretty good, I've got to admit, but um, there are some new features in relation to the bots. Uh, completely redesigned UI, I just wanted to walk you guys through it. So this right here is the dark theme. There's also a light theme which you can access through the settings. Uh, but that does apply to all of the apps, and I prefer the dark theme, theme so here it is. Uh, on the left side, you've got your classic hamburger menu, recent conversations, contacts, and of course, I'm going to have to blur out some of this, um, and your bots. So the bots are what are new, and I'm going to go over that in detail. And you've got help and settings. Um, some, some of the things I noticed, it's stable, uh, but there are a few really prevalent bugs. Um, something I noticed, the animations aren't there when I'm switching between pages. Universal Windows apps so far have been very well animated, very smooth. This doesn't feel that smooth. When I go to the conversation setting, it just boom switches. Settings, boom switches. Uh, no animation there. But since we are in the settings, let's go ahead and take a look. We've got instant messages, um, just classic settings. Um, really nothing th big here, but you can, again, change it to uh, light. Let me go ahead and open it up again. And there's the light theme. I don't personally like it, but just so you can see it, here it is. Uh, so let's go over our conversations. Um, it is, it's it's good, it's basic, uh, but it's good. So for example, if I go into a conversation right here, uh, I can see their username and everything. I can, uh, again, look at that, no animation. It just pops in. It feels a little choppy. But anyway, I can change the name just like I can in the desktop version of Skype. Um, and as you can see there, it took about 15 seconds for the image to load. So still got some bugs, but I haven't experienced any random shutdowns or anything. Um, you can view someone's profile. Uh, overall, pretty good. I definitely like um, the functionality is there, especially with the bots, which I'm getting to. So you can call someone. Uh, pretty basic setup. Uh, one thing, so you've got sharing screens and the dial pad and everything. Um, so the features are there. Not as many features as the desktop app, but it is very, very close. Sharing screens was the biggest one that I was looking for, and it is there. You just definitely get to see. You can share images, documents, emojis, all that good stuff is there. Uh, Functionality-wise, it's not too far behind. Um, UI-wise, it looks pretty good, again. Um, so there's the conversation. Now let's move on to the bots, because the bots are very important, and they're not in the desktop Skype app. So in the bots, uh, you can actually get a bunch, because there's a bots tab on the side, and there are just a ton of bots, um, and there will be a lot more. Um, they're not really useful right now. I don't want to be blatantly rude about this, but they're just not useful. I got the ones that I thought would be most useful, um, Bing Images and Caption Bot, and what these do is, um, you know, what you'd think they do. You give a search query in Bing Images, and it's supposed to return images. So I put in Sleepy Cats. I'm not really sure why it was caps, but I put in Sleepy Cats, and I noticed that, first of all, when you type it in, it takes about a minute for the response to come in, uh, just for me. That might not be an every time everyone thing, and I have to shut down Skype and open it up again in order for me to actually see it, and it doesn't notify me. And when I click on the image that it gave me for Sleepy Cat, this is what happens. There's clearly no image here. Um, I I keep going. Some of them have images, some of them don't. Um, here's the sleeping cat. So here, perfect. You know, it takes you to a Flickr page of a sleeping cat. It works. Very very functional. And I put in memes cats, which doesn't make sense. It's not correct grammar, but that's one of the examples. And I really don't know where it's taking me. It takes me to a car blog about cat memes influence. And it has cat memes, but no, it has one image. So again, not very useful. It doesn't know what it's doing. Then it takes me to a deviant art in a blog and I get two, I get a bunch of memes, so this works, but they're all very similar, so it's it works, but again, I just don't see the use. It's quicker, first of all, and more efficient, and just better, 
to just open up your browser and search for cat memes. It's not sure, even, even on a phone. So I'm not sure why the bots are even a thing at this point. Um, but similar story here. I looked, I, I typed in funny cats and again, a blog that I have no idea what's happening here. This isn't, there's no, there's no funny cat on this page. So not very functional. Um, the entire platform is stable. I think the universal windows app platform is stable, uh, but I think getting functionality, getting the bot functionality is a huge weakness right now. Moving on to caption bot, I sent in a screenshot of, of text, um, just of the insider preview blog, and it says it's a cell phone. So that didn't really work. And then I sent it a picture of a cat, finally found a cat, and it says, I think it's a cat looking at the camera. So this one works. It works pretty darn well, um, from what I've tested on other computers as well. So, uh, you know, caption bot works, but again, I know that's a cat. I don't see the application of this very frequently in Skype. It's nice to see, um, you know, intel computer intelligence doing this, but right now in Skype, I don't see the use. I know that it's a cat. The rare times I can think of using this is if you don't know what an object is in a conversation and you want to use Skype to figure out what it is. But again, I just don't see people doing that. Um, so, you know, overall, it's it's good. It works. It, the uh, the application in terms of just calling messaging works fine. The bots definitely need to be improved, however, because they're buggy and they're not useful, in my opinion. And uh, overall, it's good, but it's not an improvement over the desktop app. I'd still prefer the desktop app. Its notifications work better, and even if it doesn't have bots, uh, it's a little bit more advanced in its features. So I'm not really sure why this exists. Right now, Windows 10, I'm on build 14.393, by the way, but right now, Windows 10, the preview, and the stable build have three Skype apps, phone messaging and the video app, then you can get Skype for desktop, and now you can get the Universal app. So I'm, th we have five Skype apps. I'm not sure what Microsoft's doing here, but that's my rant about the Universal Windows Skype app. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, it, this is supposed to get texting through your uh, from your Android or Windows phone pretty soon in the next in the next Redstone update, which I will be covering by the way. So stay tuned and subscribe. But I, the bot seems like a gimmick to me, uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you in the next video.